Rhonda Buss. Welcome to the So News Decades of Style So Along. Uh, we're going to be talking about the waistband now. Um, we will be lining the skirt, so we're putting the cart before the horse just a little bit, but um, it's good to talk about the waistband and the construction of the waistband. Um, the, uh, for this particular skirt, I'm going to show you a little something. It's a, a very old technique that um, hasn't been used too much in, in skirts for a number of years, but it's something that I like a lot. Um, one of the things that I like to do anytime I cut a waistband is I like to cut my waistband on the selvage edge of the fabric whenever possible. So I always try to leave a nice long selvage uh, edge um, available for cutting my waistband. So you can see here that this is the true selvage of the skirt, of, or excuse me, selvage of the fabric. It's got the little frayed edges. So in a case like this, when you have this little frayed edge, you can actually just come along and just cut those off. Eh, they don't look, it, it's not anything that's necessary to do. It's just that they don't look that nice and um, rather than have them on the inside of their, our skirt, we can just cut them and get rid of them. But the nice thing is we still have the selvage edge there. And the reason for the selvage edge is think about it, that selvage is the strongest part of the fabric and it will not stretch. So it helps to keep the waistband from stretching. A few years ago, I was talking to a tailor at um, one, from one of the tailor shops, the true tailor shops in Chicago. And they were talking about how men will come in and they think they're still a 38 in the waist, um, say they haven't bought a new suit in a couple of years and their suit fits them just fine. And then when the tailor measures them, they actually are 40 inches in the waist and it's because the fabric over time has stretched. Um, so um, of course, as women, we wear our waistbands a little bit different than men do if we're using an actual waistband. And um, it's nice not to have it stretched. So if you can at all possible, cut your waistband on the selvage edge of the fabric. Now. What I like to do, especially for this, now we're going to be putting something else in the waistband besides the interfacing, but I still wanted a little something to give it just the give the fabric just a little bit of stability. What I like, and I buy this by the bolt whenever possible, is this fusible knit um, interfacing. It's a very lightweight interfacing and you see it has a great stretch in the crosswise. Um, it doesn't have a stretch in the lengthwise grain but and of course it will stretch in the bias but in the crosswise and the lengthwise no lengthwise no stretch only stretch in the crosswise. So I then take and I I fuse the fusible knit to the back side of my waistband and I use the lengthwise grain. Remember the lengthwise grain had no stretch, so that also helps to hold the waistband and keep it from stretching as we wear it. Now, for the skirt that I did for, this, for the magazine, um, I actually, I did cut it on the selvage edge, just as I did the, the one that we're doing for the sew along. So it's along the selvage edge. I did not, uh, with the wool, I didn't want to put the uh, fusible inside the wool. So instead, I just cut a piece of the um, inner lining. And, I, and if you see here, I cut it on the straight of grain as well. So this is on the straight of grain. The waistband's on the straight of grain. We've got the selvage edge in on both sides it's gonna help hold that waistband in place just as we'd like for it to be. Now, if you'll notice, there's something else in my waistband. And a quick story, when I was in high school, I worked at a little dress shop um, at a mall, like a lot of teenagers. And um, how it actually happened, I don't know, um, other than a miracle in my book, but we got in an Yves Saint Laurent skirt 
and it was absolutely beautiful. Everything about it was just impeccable. It was a little wrap. It was a wool twill wrap skirt. And um, when it came in, it was exorbitantly expensive, way out of my price range. But I guess people didn't seem to understand what the skirt actually was. So it went on sale, and it went on sale again, it went on sale again. And then finally, with my discount, I could afford it, and I snatched up the skirt, and I was so proud to get it. But one of the things that I found interesting about the construction was it had this rather hard something in the waistband, and I'd never, I'd never seen that before. I had no idea what it was, so I decided to open the waistband and look inside, and there I found this hard... substance, this hard material. And I thought, I have no idea what this is. So I did a little bit of research and I found out it's called waistband buckram. Now, there was a time when they actually did carry it at your local fabric store. Um, not anymore, sadly. But you can get it. You can order it. If you just Google waistband buckram, you will find it. Um, it does come in various widths. Um, this is uh, about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half uh, that I used inside this waistband. And if you'll see, it's just stitched to the seam allowance. It's just stitched in. That's it. And then the waistband fabric is folded over. And then you simply stitch in the ditch just as you would a typical waistband application. And then you've got this nice hard um, material inside. It's not so hard, it's not uncomfortable, but it helps to hold the waistband. It gives it, an, it such a lovely stability. Um, whenever I use it, I always fondly think of that wonderful skirt that I had that I completely wore out before I, I had to give it away, or actually I probably should have thrown it away, but anyway, it's a wonderful, wonderful material to put into a waistband. Next, we'll be talking about the lining. Once you've gone to this much effort and work with your skirt, you definitely want to put a nice lining in your skirt. There are a few things you need to know, um, a few little tricks in order to have a nice lining. So please join me for that. Um, and in the meantime, thank you for joining me with the Decades of Style Sew Along. Mm -hmm.